and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. The asset store is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video, let's check out some highlights for February 2022. In this first video, I will be covering a list of free assets, and in the next ones, I will be covering paid assets and tools. Check out the phone playlist to see all of the highlights every month. You might find something that would be perfect for whatever project you're currently working on. Let me know in the comments if you pick up any of these and what you intend to do with them. Do you want to learn Unity, Blender and programming patterns? Then check out my curated CodeMonkey bundle with a link in the description. This is a collaboration with GameDevTV, all of their courses have the highest rating possible. I got in touch with them to specifically select three courses to make a nice complete bundle to take you from beginner to advanced. I chose their Ultimate Unity 3D course, this one will teach you both Unity and C Sharp, both starting completely from scratch. Then the Blender 3D modeling course. I picked this one up myself a few months ago and I've learned a ton thanks to it. And the final one is a more advanced, really interesting programming course, all about programming patterns. It's excellent for helping you massively improve the quality of your code, which in turn helps you make better games faster. I chose all of these courses myself to really give you a nice path to go from beginner to advanced. The bundle has a really nice discount, so check it out with the link in the description. Alright, so starting off with a great car controller. It uses wheel colliders to make it all work. You can set up the maximum speed, forwards and backwards. You can set up acceleration, braking, steering, speed and tons more. Also, it says in the title that this one is also a learning tool. Not sure how that works. There's a tutorial in the asset store page. Maybe the code is heavily commented. Car driving is one of the topics that I haven't really covered, only made a single tutorial. So if you want to learn, then maybe look into this free asset and study it. Then if you need a nice medieval house, here's a simple one that looks pretty good. Features both interior and exterior. It seems to be all in one piece, but I think you could just load it into Blender and cut some pieces to make some really nice modules. Either way, it looks really nice. Or maybe you need a character. Here's a cartoony humanoid animal. It's a nice stylized character. Also includes quite a bunch of animations. So very easy to just drag and drop onto your project and start using it. If you need some hit particle effects, check out this one. Quite a bunch of variety and lots of colors. You have hits, explosions and slashes. Or maybe you're working on a fighting game and you need some sprites, check out this one. It's got 2D sprites in all kinds of poses. There's not much animation, which actually makes for an interesting style. Reminds me of Dive Kick, which was a very successful game and also had some very limited animations. If you're building some kind of survival crafting game and you need some tools, look at this one. It's a nice pack, you've got 6 tools, so you have an axe, pickaxe, shovel, scythe, hoe and hammer. They are low poly with a simplified shape and some materials which look really great. Then for some realistic firework effects, look at this one. They look very realistic, made with the visual effect graph. Very easy to use, just drag and drop. Also you can customize all of the colors, sizes, timings and everything. If you need some simple icons for a game, check out this free pack. Lots of varied icons, so you've got things for options, sound, some links, maybe some keyboard, microphone, home and tons more. They have a simple visual style, so with some hue shifting or some color tinting you can get tons of variation. Then here's an interesting free tool, a JSON model creator. This one can be helpful to visualize the structure of your data. You can add some fields, select their types, choose array or single. This is all in JSON, so it's a widely used format. You can make the model here and use it anywhere. And if you're making a retro game, here is Retro Screen. It makes your game view very pixelated, so very retro. It's very simple, does exactly just one thing. You drag and drop the script onto the camera and it just works. Alright, so those are my top 10 free new assets on the Unity Asset Store for February 2022. There's links to all in the description, stay tuned for the next videos covering paid assets and tools, there's lots of awesome stuff there. Check out the phone playlist to see some more lists with free and paid assets, and let me know if you pick up any of these and what you intend to do with them. Also check out my own free and paid assets on the store. Alright, hope that's useful, check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.